hello everyone how to solve this nice uh, complex problem so uh, here we need to find the value of square root of iota so here uh, you see that uh, iota be the complex number it means that we need to find the value of uh, this square root of iota so that here uh, first uh, we will just take here uh, this value of iota square root equals to x plus iota y because this is a complex number so we denote it by some complex value so x plus iota y denotes the complex number okay so here uh, we call this is our equation number one and now here in order to find the value of iota square root so we need to just find the value of x and y so here our next claim is to find the value of x and y so that in order to find the value of x and y here we need to uh, take a square on both of the sides so we write it as uh, uh, iota square root of uh, iota and its whole square equals to x plus uh, iota y and its whole square so this two uh, and this is two and square root are gone and we will obtain here iota is equals to here we need to expand this algebraic identity and we know that it is equals to x square plus uh, iota square y square plus two times of uh, x y into iota okay here we can apply this algebraic formula a plus b whole square so according to this we will write it here after that uh, we see here the value of iota square equals to uh, minus one so we write it as iota equals to x square minus when you put the value of iota square here it will becomes the minus y square and plus we write it as two times of x y into iota so further in the next step uh, here uh, we will write this iota as uh, 0 plus uh, 1 iota it is equals to here we have uh, x square minus y square plus uh, 2 times of x y into iota so here we need to compare both of the sides and uh, we will compare the real parts as well as imaginary parts so we have x square minus y square equals to 0 and when you compare the imaginary parts so here in the right hand side we have the imaginary part is 2xy and our real part is equals to 1 okay so here we, uh, we need to solve these two equations and we call this is equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2 uh, so that here first we need to focus on uh, equation number 2 so uh, in equation number 2 we have uh, so here first we need to move uh, this two in the right hand side uh, and it will be written as here we will just find the value of y and we move this 2x in the right hand side so the value of y equals to 1 over 2x and we call this is our equation number 3 so here we need to substitute this value of y in equation number 1 so that now when you put this value of y in equation number 1 so our equation number one becomes x square minus y square the value of y is one over two x whole square and this is equals to zero and further in the next step here we need to uh, expand this square we know that uh, x square minus one square equals to one and two and two square equals to four and x square equals to x square and this is equals to zero so here uh, in order to solve further we need to take the lcm of this term uh, so that uh, or in other words we will just uh, multiplying both of the sides by four times of x square okay we will multiply both of the sides by four times of x square it will becomes four times of x square multiplied by x square minus 4 times of x square multiplied by 1 over 4 x square equals to 4 times of x square multiplied by 0. Here we need more simplification than you see here. This is uh, 4 times of x square multiplied by x square equals to 4 times of x to the power of 4 minus here you see that this 4 x square and 4 x square are cancelled by each other 
and we will get minus 1 this 4x square multiplied by 0 equals to 0 and now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we write it as this is 4 times of x to the power of 4 uh, and we write it as 2x square and its whole square so when you expand this 2 times of x square and its whole square it is equals to 4 times of x to the power of 4 minus we write this 1 as 1 square and this whole equals to 0 so here we have uh, here we need to use this algebraic formula a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this algebraic formula we write our above uh, expression as in this form this is 2 times of x square minus 1 into 2 times of uh, x square plus 1 and this whole equals to 0 and now in the next step we need to divide this into the two cases so that the first case is we take 2x square minus 1 equals to 0 the second case is we take 2x square plus 1 equals to 0 okay so uh, now in the next step uh, we have uh, this is here we need to move this minus 1 to the right hand side and we obtain 2x square equals to 1 similarly in this case we have uh, 2x square equals to minus 1 so here we get the value of x square equals to 1 over 2 and here we get the value of x square equals to minus 1 over 2 so now we need to take the square root on both of the sides so when you take the square root on this term it will be written as uh, x is equals to 1 over 2 square root and similarly in this case so here we get x is equals to plus minus 1 over square root of 2 iota square root of 2 this is the values of x but here if you focus on this term here we need to take the square root on both of the sides so these are cancelled by each other but here you get x is equals to plus minus 1 over square root of 2 into iota but uh, because here our x uh, it should must be an, a real number so that uh, uh, we will reject it this case because it will become complex and now uh, we have these two values of x so that according to these two values of x we need to find the values of y so here we write the positive value of x it is 1 over 2 square root and here we write the negative value of x uh, it is 1 minus 1 over 2 square root so here we need our uh, equation number 3 so equation number 3 is implies that y equals to 1 over 2x so when you put this value of x here we get y equals to 1 over 2 into 1 over square root of 2 uh, and here we need some simplifications and when you put this value of x here it will become 1 over 2 into minus 1 over square root of 2 so this square root of 2 moves upsides and we write it as square root of 2 and we write this 2 as a square root of 2 into square root of 2 so this is cancelled out by each other and we get y equals to 1 over square root of 2 similarly in this case we have y is equals to square root of 2 over minus 2 and we write it as square root of minus square root of 2 over square root of 2 into square root of 2 this is cancelled by each other and we obtain y is equals to minus 1 over square root of 2 so this is the uh, two values of y so finally uh, we uh, need uh, equation number one so that equation number one is implies that square root of iota equals to x plus iota y so we need to substitute the values of uh, x and y so the values of x are plus minus 1 over square root of 2 plus iota into the values of y are plus minus 1 over square root of 2 this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos